Hey everybody, it's First Warden Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. It's about 7 o'clock when I'm recording this. Here is your update for this evening. We're starting to see a pretty significant transition from rain to sleet from about Charlotte West. And then we're starting to see snow pick up in the mountains and foothills. So let's get right to the radar because we can show you what's going on. Look how big this storm system is. There is a lot of moisture still moving in from the west. It seems that as the heavier moisture has been getting closer, we've seen a slow transition. And I'm going to pause this real quickly. I'm going to turn the temperatures on here in a minute, but I want to focus on the radar because we're getting mostly snow reports in this area right in here. But we're getting a lot of sleet showing up in this area right in here. And even some sleet reports over in this general vicinity. If I turn on the actual surface temperatures, and I'm going to turn on temperatures, those are dew points, um, you could see the temperatures around the Charlotte area are getting close, 36, 37 degrees. But notice Shelby is sitting there at 34 degrees, um, Rutherfordton at 34. Same thing with Asheville, Greenville, Spartanburg. So we're starting to see that transition. And if I turn on the weather, which will show you what's falling, um, you can see we're getting some snow falling in the Asheville area, but we're getting some reports of sleet mixing in at times across these areas in the Charlotte area. And what I expect to happen over the next, I'd say, three hours or so is we're likely going to see this snow expand in this general direction and the sleet start to pick up down here. So I expect both of those areas will grow over time um, as we go through the evening hours. If you missed my forecast at 6 o'clock, this was my final call map. You can see uh, my final call is 12 to 18 inches in the mountains and the adjacent eastern facing slopes, 8 to 12 inches for the foothills and the northwest Piedmont, 4 to 8 from north of Shelby to Lincolnton, northern Gaston, uh, southern Iredell, up towards Salisbury, and then 2 to 4 across most of the Interstate 40 corridor. Now, the 4 inch could be, end up being the high end, 2 inches the low end. Um, I could see this going higher if it stayed. We get a big burst of snow in the morning, and there are some signs that could happen. But I really think that the rain now changing to sleep and a big burst of snow back to freezing rain is going to reduce our tolls. But I'm fairly confident everybody's going to at least see some type of accumulation. You might miss it if you're sleeping because, remember, sleet and snow, even though the sleet doesn't pile up as quickly, it counts as a snow accumulation in the record books. If I zoom in carefully, you could see how this kind of unfolds across the area. So Rock Hill, you're right on that maybe one to two inch range. York, two to four. Lake Wiley, Fort Mill, Weddington, over towards Matthews, Mint Hill, Concord. So you could see, and again, remember the spread from seeing eight to 12 to one trace to two is only like 30 or 40 miles. It's it's a really tight concentration. Now, I, I don't think this gets emphasized enough. The ice threat is significant tomorrow. If this changes to freezing rain in the afternoon, we could see a quarter to a half an inch in some spots. And again, each of these, the sleet, snow, freezing rain accumulations, all are going to be dependent on how long we stay in each phase of that precipitation. If it stays snow longer, we'll see more snow. If we see more sleet, the snow totals go on and the sleet piles up. If we see more freezing rain, the other two go down. So it's this balancing act between the three to see how everything kind of unfolds. So again, here's a look at the radar tonight. We're starting to see things really pick up across the area. And a lot of questions about traveling. I would say after midnight tonight, that's when temperatures are likely going to fall uh, below the freezing mark, and that's when we'll start to see things deteriorate. Already 32 in Boone. Looks like the snow is starting to fall there. Let me look at the weather real quickly. You can see uh, most of this to the north is not reaching the ground. If I look at the dew points, and I was showing these earlier, um, there is still some really dry air up here in Virginia and uh, the northeastern part of the state. And we're going to put the winds on here for a second and the pressure. And you can see that wedge of high pressure. Look at those teens up there over the Chesapeake Bay area. That drier air keeps advecting in. And what's going to happen is that this advection, we call this a barrier jet. If that wind, that low level wind picks up as the southerly winds override it, it kind of smushes it down and forces it. You ever stuck your finger over the end of a hose and it, it squirts out real fast? Well, if you restrict, restrict that low level with the warm air loft, it could actually speed up that southeast wind. So that'll be something I'll be keeping an eye on this evening. And we're starting to see it set up. I, I honestly can't see a lot of pitfalls in the forecast right now doesn't mean we won't have some overnight but that's the thing I look at when I call now casting I start looking at what's happening right now and how things are progressing and right now everything seems to be progressing as expected we'll really know if the forecast starts to go wrong after midnight if we don't see the changeover or the other thing that could happen this could change over quicker 
and we could see snow start to fall maybe closer to midnight, then we're then we're going to start thinking, uh oh, we might have busted too low on the forecast. But remember, these forecast totals are very small change. If it was rainfall, it'd be the difference between like a quarter of an inch and a tenth of an inch. It's not that big of a difference from a liquid standpoint. Snow gets fluffed up, so it seems like a bigger deal. So I'll be posting updates throughout the evening. Hopefully you're staying safe after midnight. I would highly recommend not traveling. And tomorrow throughout the day, I'd stay at home. See you tonight at 11. And oh, by the way, I'll be doing a Facebook Live at about nine o'clock. So if you don't see this, you'll see me at nine o'clock.